Hello everybody, my name is Cybex and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Minecraft server and open it to the public without the use of port forwarding. To do this we're going to be creating a default 1.19 server but instead of using port forwarding we're going to be using uh, a new software called Playit and in order to do this all we have to do is create the server so I prefer going to mcversions.net and then creating a folder I'm going to call it Playit server just like that and then I want to download the server jar and on my desktop I'm going to find the play it server and open it right in there and then save it in there so from here I need to create my start.bat jar so I'm just going to hit new text document start.bat and then I'll have this pasted in the description but um, I'm going to pull this myself off another server I have so if I open up my server and then open up my start.bat. I'm going to copy this and paste it right in. I'm actually going to change this to the default Java value so it finds the new Java. And since it's a regular Minecraft server, I'm just going to change it down to 2 gigabytes. So once I do that, I'm going to hit File Save and run the bat command. So it's going to fail because I have to agree to the EULA. So you can see the EULA.txt just spawned in. And I'm going to hit or type in true and save that. And then double click start.bat again. And as you can see, it's going to create my Minecraft server for me and load it all up. So you should see that it says help as in it's done. Um, this could take just a few seconds. It shouldn't take that long for a uh, regular Minecraft server. But while we're doing that, we're also going to install uh, Play It, which is the tunneling system. So to do it, you'll just go to play.gg and then hit download play it to start and then choose Windows or Mac or if you're on Linux you can run that command but for me I'm on Windows so I'm just gonna hit play it.exe and go to desktop and save it as play it here so before we can do any of this we have to log in and create our tunnels so you can see I'm already logged in but I'll log out just for the sake of it you can see it says create account. you're gonna input your information to here and then hit create account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with mine. And then you can see you have no tunnels. I'm not connected. I have no subscriptions. So what I'm going to do is go to tunnels, Minecraft Java, and I want to connect my Minecraft Java server using the default local IP. I'm just going to hit yes and hit add tunnel. And you can see my tunnels has this tunnel address with this local address IP which is just the default Minecraft value so I'm going to go ahead and copy this hit overview refresh to ensure that I am connected in order to do that I have to open up the playit.exe and it should say connecting to the tunnel server and if I refresh this a couple of times it should eventually say that I am connected so you can see it says connected to Chicago one data center so now all I have to do is ensure that my Minecraft world is created as you can see it says done and all we have to do now is go back into minecraft add server paste in the uh, domain that they give you hit done and you can see my server pops right up and if I blink out of it and just hit join server you can see that right here it should say that sin joined the server which means that it is successfully connecting to my server and not other people's servers so right now it's loading in and as you can see I'm in my server using that domain a public domain and I can test it by opping myself and you should see that sin or server made sin an operator and I can do everything that I wanted so this works with any um, version you can do it on forge you can do it on spigot you can do it on paper uh, magma uh, you know my last uh, tutorial was on magma you can use it on that you can use it on whatever you like and all you have to do is just download the play.gg uh, software run it create a tunnel make sure you're connected and then use the tunnel address and all of a sudden you have yourself a public server so if you found this tutorial to be simple, easy, helpful, a like, a subscription, uh, any comments you have, 
would be greatly appreciated. And I appreciate everyone, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.